how to install the official build of Pixel Experience on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official build of Pixel Experience normal or plus edition on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now for full disclosure, I do have the POCO F3, which is the international variant of the Mi 11X. So the video will work even if you have the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. They are the same devices sold as different names in different regions. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video and we are going to use the TWRP recovery by Vashisht for the purpose of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, any Anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so here it is I do have the POCO F3 which right now is running lineage OS and this is the ROM from which I'm going to jump to the official build of pixel experience as I mentioned earlier the steps will remain the same even if you are coming from MIUI except in the case of the very special hentai OS in which case I do recommend that you first go back to stock MIUI because they have their own firmware and they are special unique different ROM anyways first of all let us go into settings and security here and remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock if you have any on your custom ROM then you can go into accounts and remove your Google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now if you are coming from MIUI then also you will go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done you can go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account again once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next up what are the files which you need so you need two files first is the firmware now for the firmware you need to download it for your variant so me 11x will download the me 11x firmware poco f3 will use poco f3 firmware and redmi k40 is going to use redmi k40 firmware of course try to be or try to download the latest firmware for your region and download the latest stable firmware do not download the chinese beta firmware and then you need the rom itself and this here is pixel experience of course official build and i am using the plus edition zip but if you are wanting to install the normal edition then the process will still remain the same do note pixel experience comes with google apps baked in so you do not have to worry about flashing google apps or downloading them explicitly another question which i will get a lot is what about the firmware do I really need to install it so if you know you are on the latest firmware which you might be if you are switching from stable MIUI then you can skip the part of flashing and downloading the firmware if you do not know then me personally I think there is no harm in flashing the latest firmware for your region once again it really shouldn't make a difference so I prefer to be on the safe side and flash the firmware next up we need to do is power off our device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the POCO logo or feel the vibration at which point you can let go of the power button so again press and hold power and volume up once you feel the vibration you can let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and you should boot into your 
recovery which here is team win or twrp recovery do note i am using the version of twrp by washist first of all go into wipe advanced swipe select dalvik and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them manually you would know the location now i am flashing the firmware because i'm just trying to be safe if you know you are on the latest firmware you can always skip this part and i have mentioned this earlier in the video but i'm mentioning it again because there are some people who just skip ahead and do not try to understand so first of all select the firmware zip and at this point inject twrp after install whether you choose it or not really doesn't matter because we are going to in inject it once we install or once we select the rom so first of all let me install the firmware and then we can swipe to confirm flash so the firmware was flashed without any issues next up we are going to tap on the home button go into install and this time around we are going to select the pixel experience plus edition and then make sure inject twrp after install is checked again make sure inject twrp after install is checked and then swipe to confirm flash so here it is you can see that the rom was flashed without any errors here it is we are flashing the rom step one of two step two of two updating partition details and done so the rom has been flashed next up the other things which you see right now are your unpacking boot and then the repacking of boot or backing up boot this is your injecting twrp the text in red can be ignored because we got image flash completed and image flash completed this means that both the rom was installed without any errors and twrp was also injected next up going to reboot and here in select recovery so there it is we have booted back into our custom recovery which again is twrp by washist going to wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and can you do this without performing a format data feel free to try but i personally recommend that you do perform a format data and perform a clean flash so again you can see format data was performed without any errors but we are getting the failed to mount errors for some partitions and those can be ignored at this point all we need to do is say reboot system and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 which means hallelujah we are booting into pixel experience plus edition and boom that was a pretty fast boot up anyways let me skip the initial setup real quick so there it is we are on the home screen let us go into settings about phone and here and if i tap on the android version bam here it is android version is 11 security patch is from august 2021 the build here is official pixel experience plus edition installed like a boss on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 let us check out the camera application which is baked in so it is i think the snapdragon camera but gcam ports should be good to go other than that you do have your chrome application play store google photos recorder safety and of course make sure you do update the applications from the play store after installing the rom and there it is peeps that is how you install the official build of pixel experience plus edition on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you